Here at home, a Nova Scotia mother is coming forward with a tragic tale. She's speaking out about her teenage daughter's suicide and the bullying she endured, all in an effort to make sure it doesn't happen to others. Elizabeth Chu has that story. How could I have known? This is a video created by a mother as a tribute to her daughter. Retea Parsons died Sunday after hanging herself on Thursday. She was just 17 years old. Retea's mother says Retea endured months of torment after a horrible photo was circulated. It was a year and a half ago, a drunken night captured forever in a photograph. That night, she says her daughter was raped by four boys. While one of the guys was having sex with her, another guy said, take a picture, take a picture, and she heard the picture click. That photo was sent by text from phone to phone to phone. Retea found herself bullied, labeled a slut. Friends turned against her. Boys she didn't know started texting her and Facebooking her, asking her to have sex with them since she had sex with her friends. And it just, it just never stopped. Retea went to police three days after the alleged rape. After talking to prosecutors, police decided not to lay charges. Anytime we have photos uh, such as that is a concern for the police because we don't want to see anybody being harmed or, or, or threatened. But that in itself uh, is only a small detail in terms of an investigation. Retea was a student at this high school when the photo was circulating. This student received the image on his phone. It's not good. What did it show? It showed a guy having sex with her. It's scary. It happened to anyone. She transferred schools to get away from the bullying. Her suicide has stunned students here. People need to, I don't know, grow up and everything. This shouldn't be happening. This story is reminiscent of the case of Amanda Todd, the BC teen who posted a video to YouTube detailing how she was bullied over an explicit photo. Soon after, the 15-year-old took her own life. Today, Retea's mother says she's making this story public to stop this from happening to someone else. Elizabeth Chu, CBC News, Dartmouth.